Hey guys, Jibby Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Simple FPS Controller. Now, um, as of early 2020, the uh, actually it's probably more like in 2019, the standard assets for uh, Unity in the Asset Store were deprecated, so you can't really get them anymore. Uh, they were supposed to be replaced, however, I think Unity is lagging a little bit with that. Uh, so people are looking for alternatives, mainly I would say for the FPS controller. So let's take a look at this one. This is free. Uh, it may change. Uh, I would like to hope it would stay free. It, it's a decent asset. So if we take a look at the scene view, have a look at the quality, there is quite a bit here to demonstrate how this FPS controller indeed works. Um, so quantity wise, there is quite a bit here. There is more than just that FPS controller, which is it, it serves its purpose at least. Um, but yeah, there's there's tons of stuff here. So in a way of extras, we've got sounds, we've got scripts, we've got shaders, we've got loads here, more than just the FPS controller. So quantity and extras wise, there is loads here. That's really, really good. So the biggest drawback to this is if you're new to Unity, you're a beginner, this is awful for you. This is not even worth looking at, unfortunately. So upon downloading it, if you don't have the post-processing stack in you're not going to be able to use this you'll have all these errors by default so this particular asset assumes you have post processing in your game but what if you're making something for mobile for low end and don't want post processing then you're going to struggle a bit especially if you're a beginner so there are ways around this absolutely you can see in the folders here we get plenty of folders and they are neat of course which is also good uh, there are a couple of things that you will have to do to actually get this working if you don't have post-processing or don't want post-processing. So if you go to the console and go to here, it'll tell you it's two scripts which are causing errors, pill effect and scene transition. I mean, sorting it out is easy enough. You can, you can either get the post-processing stack or you can just annotate out any lines which cause errors. Now, it, it is a little bit disappointed in some ways that the creator of this just assumed that you'd want post-processing. Not everybody does, but I don't see it as a massive problem. Um, it's that one as well. So I've annotated them out and saved, and I'll go to scene transition and do the same. You can see here at the top in the namespace it is saying uh, to pull uh, from the post-processing, but again, if you don't want post-processing, you can just annotate all this out. And it will work um, as it should do. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. So let's save those two scripts, head back into Unity, and all those errors in the console should disappear, and they do. But again, if you're a beginner, you wouldn't know to do that. You wouldn't know to either get rid of those lines or download the post-processing stack, which again, I think is really disappointing for a beginner. Um, so going into it, you can see, it is pretty decent. There are no footstep sounds. Um, it is the movement is smoother than the standard assets. But like I say, in the way of extras, we do get some. See? So ultimately, if you don't necessarily just want the FPS controller and just want a couple of things extra from this, this is probably pretty decent. So usefulness, if you're experienced in Unity then this is going to be pretty useful. However, contrast to that, if you're experienced in Unity, you'd know how to create a first-person controller anyway. So it kind of is not a pointless asset, but not quite as it should be for the intended audience, if that makes sense. Um, it is customizable, obviously. You can do what you need to do with the play. You've got couple of scripts on there you could change and work with and actually help you uh, prototype a game yourself. I mean, given the health and stamina and all that, that's pretty simple to do. But for its original purpose of just being an FPS controller, it's not all that. Um, size wise, it is 72 meg and that is quite a lot, but I think it's that high simply because of uh, the amount of assets actually in this, things like the sounds and whatever else. Um, so you guys know I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. This one is a tough one, I've got to be honest. It's not very often I come across ones which I'm torn. Um, 
I am leaning towards not recommending this, unfortunately, if you are a beginner. If you're experienced and you feel like being a little bit lazy, you want to just kind of prototype something, pick up a quick FPS controller, then yeah, I'd recommend it. So I would pick it up if I were you. But like I say, if you're a beginner, try to avoid this. Um, I know the standard assets have been deprecated. They're removed. You can't get them if you haven't downloaded them before. However, there are assets out there which do come coupled with those standard assets just because that's how they're built so I, I probably will make a video on that um, at some point um, in fact uh, i'm recording this on the 30th of march you may have already seen it i think because i do plan to record it um either today or tomorrow and i'm not sure what order videos are going to come out obviously with the chaos of the world at the moment so yeah just to quickly reiterate if you're experienced and just want to cheat and be quick, yeah, I recommend it. If you're new to Unity, sadly, no, stay away from it until you've got a bit more experience with the engine. So guys, have you used this asset? If you have, you let me know what you think. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know. I would love to check it out. And finally, guys, don't forget, click on the subscribe button and click that bell icon as well. Stay up to date with every tutorial and every review I upload to my channel. And guys... Thank you very much for watching.